وسلم علیہ یا حبیب اللہ سب و نور سب و نور حسین نور حسین انداز کے اندر سیف مروف پر آجا رہا تھا اب بلا تخیر میں بالخصوص جنگسز کے لیے ہم نے جو انگلیش سکولر اس کا ہم نے مدھو کیا تھا وہ کیولا علامہ ساجی شامی صاحب ہیں یہ جب سے میں تو شروع ہوئی ہے یہ اس دیر سے یہاں بیٹھے ہوئے ہیں ہم ان کا شکریہ ادا کرتے ہیں ایک شیر کے سائے میں دعوت دے رہا ہوں توجہ ہے تو دعوت دے رہا محبت کے ساتھ دونوں ہاتھوں کو لہرا کر سبحان اللہ کہہ دیجئے کہ مدینہ میں مدینہ میں اگر پیدا ہوا ہوتا تو کیا ہوتا مدینہ میں اگر پیدا ہوا ہوتا تو کیا ہوتا محمد کی تحلیز میں فنا ہوتا تو کیا ہوتا اور ازل کی دین میں یا رب اگر مفلس بکاری ہو نبی کے آستانے کا کتا ہوتا تو کیا ہوتا اب اس کلام کا آخری شیر پر لے جا رہا ہوں اس شیر کے لیے میں آپ کو سبحان اللہ کہنے کے لیے نہیں کہوں گا جس کی بھی یہ دل کی تمنا ہے جو سمجھتا ہے کہ یہ میرے دل کی بھی صدا ہے وہ دونوں ہاتھوں کو لہرا کر پکارے گا کہ مجنو ہوا بدنام تو لیلہ کو دل دے کر مجنو ہوا بدنام تو لیلہ کو دل دے کر اگر میرے نبی کو دل دیا ہوتا تو کیا ہوتا اگر میرے نبی کو دل دیا ہوتا تو کیا ہوتا مجنو ہوا بدنام تو لیلہ کو دل دے کر اگر میرے مصطفیٰ کو دل دیا ہوتا تو کیا ہوتا مدینہ میں اگر پیدا ہوا ہوتا تو کیا ہوتا محمد کی تحلیز میں فنا ہوتا تو کیا ہوتا انہی اشار کے سائے میں ابن آدامہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دے رہا ہوں نعرہ تکبیر ہاتھوں کو لہرا کر نعرہ رسالت نعرہ رسالت آمد مصطفیٰ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من كان نبي وآدم بين الماء واتين وعلى آله وعلى أصحابه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين صدق الله ومولانا العظيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي 
يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم وصل عليه صلاه الله وسلام عليك يا رسول الله صلاه وسلام عليك يا حبيب الله respected ulama ikram elders youngsters brothers in islam assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh we are gathered on here in bradford to celebrate the milad of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam according to the nasus in the quran the greatest worship anybody can do is to celebrate milad the greatest whether you are in nawafil whether you go to hajj each and every year if you have any doubt doubt in the respect of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in your heart on the day of judgment allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will throw back your amal in your face and he would say the only reason i created you was to respect my beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so we are here here in spite of weather whatever condition we are in we are celebrating the milad of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but with this there are certain people who are spreading certain fitnas whether they are sitting on tv channels whether in their own masajid that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has passed away 1400 years ago now now why are you celebrating their milad today and bring me any book where it is stated that the sahaba of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam or the tabi'in or the taba tabi'in any of these three generations who celebrated milad we will celebrate milad but because it wasn't done in their time we don't need to do it in our time all these questions will be answered on the one verse of the book the book one verse and before me this verse was recited where allah has stated oh muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam i have created you nothing but a mercy for all mankind the very existence of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is that he is a mercy for all of mankind rahma the word is rahma mercy put put in order to be merciful on somebody there are certain conditions certain requirements you have to fulfill in order to have this mercy for the other person if those conditions are not fulfilled then the mercy is not connected and i want to exemplify this and all this information is written in tafsir imam razi has written in his book and this and book this is being taught in jeddah today, 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 today that imam razi says, says, says that in order that for prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to, to be merciful to mankind he has to, he has to fulfill to certain conditions, conditions. if he doesn't fulfill those conditions then he is not a mercy for mankind kind then 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 allah becomes liar 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 allah be 
becomes liar. Why? Because if he doesn't fulfill those conditions, then he is not Rahmatul Lil Alameen. If he isn't Rahmatul Lil Alameen, then Allah shouldn't have revealed this verse. So certain conditions have to be fulfilled. What are those conditions? If Maulana Sahib here was to be a mercy upon one of his students, just one person, our Maulana here, if he was to be merciful on one of his students, what are his conditions? One student. First thing First is that until that, until that student is alive, Maulana has to be alive. If, if, if that student is still alive, is still alive and Maulana has passed away, 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 the connection has finished. In order for this, one student, until that student is alive, Maulana has to be alive. If, if Maulana has passed away, the connection of mercy has finished. Here the Quran says, O Muhammad, we have created for you this world and you are a mercy for this world. Until this world exists, Muhammad will exist. Why? Because if Muhammad has passed away, the connection of mercy has been put on. So until we are alive, Muhammad is alive. If we are alive and Muhammad has passed away, the connection of mercy has finished. And if the connection of mercy has finished, then this verse has no standing in the Quran. So in order for this verse to be correct, Muhammad has to be still alive. So all those people say, why are you celebrating me now today? When Muhammad has passed away, this is the first we read that Muhammad is still alive. His mercy is still alive. Why? Because we are still alive. And until the day of judgment, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will be alive in his grave. He will be alive. In order to continue that mercy, which Allah has sent him for. But just, just, just being alive isn't enough. If Maulana is merciful on his student, just being alive isn't enough. Student is in UK, Maulana is in Pakistan. How can How he be can merciful on his student when he is not present? So in order for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be merciful on mankind, wherever there is mankind, Muhammad will be present. Why? Why? Because if Muhammad is in Medina, and we are in Bradford, how can that mercy continue? So in order for that mercy to continue, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam needs to be wherever there is a man person living, Muhammad will be there because that connection of mercy needs to continue. But just being here, 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 here